Hello there everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are going to take a look at another Sapaco uh, SurePak ration here. This one contains the one of my favorites, one of my favorite menus, meatballs and marinara sauce. I know, it's, guys, it's been a while. It's been a while since the last meatball and marinara sauce video, but it, it is one of my favorite mains and one of my favorite menus when, when they you know put together. So let's see what we got. We got crackers. And again, this is um, uh, towards the tail end of 2012. So again, general disclaimer, rations, uh, U.S. military rations are dated to be good from, from about three to five years. Uh, three year inspection and then five years, that's when they're typically, uh, in quotations, expired due to U.S. military standards. Now, does that mean they can't last longer? Absolutely not. They they can for sure last longer, and I've had that on the channel. But definitely be careful. Use your nose, use your eyes, and use your taste buds. If any of those are off, it's probably off. Don't keep eating it. All right, let's continue. Uh, okay, we got some peanut butter here uh, for meatballs and marinara. Now, I guess to do peanut butter crackers, that's fine. But uh, regular peanut butter. We have an oatmeal cookie. Hey, do peanut butter on the cookie, I guess. And you know what? That feels like it's in good shape, too. Last one we did of these, the cookie was excellent. Orange beverage base powder. Always good. And oh, look at that for the win. <laughs> the two spreads. They give cheese and peanut butter. This is well thought out. Wow. Okay, okay. I like it. Yeah, that might require a little bit of kneading. It's not hard, hard, but it's a little bit. Uh, here is our spoon, which is not like your typical USMRE spoon. Much smaller, but uh, very rigid. Still a pretty good spoon. And finally, our meatballs in the marinara. In uh, the boxes. And I kind of miss the boxes. I I mean, it, it's, it's more waste, but you could put everything in the box. It's good to heat the meal in the box. So here we go. There are the meatballs. Flameless ration heater as well. Now because this is a slightly older heater, uh, we'll do the old salt trick. But what I did before the video started, I just went ahead and put some, uh, some salt, dissolved some salt in water. Instead of putting a salt packet in here, which is what we generally do. We'll just throw the salt packet, but this doesn't come with any extra salt. And as a commenter had said during our last video, they had talked a little bit about how they had some of these, but they were low sodium. So these are the normal ones, but they are also low sodium versions as well. So it's been a while since I've had one, so I'm not going to comment out on it, but uh, anyway, let's put some water in here. Again, we're Shooting to be in between the fill lines, maybe a little bit over there, but that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna kick off really nicely. I can already hear it starting to gurgle and bubble. Um, my mom got me this case of, uh, of rations, Sapaco rations. Well, I mentioned that in the last video, but I can continue to thank her because it was really cool of her to do. But the, whoever she bought these from, really to oh man, that heater is nice. Oh yeah, getting a lot of heat off there. Maybe I don't know if you can, if I can capture that real well, but it is starting to steam. So you can just place this up against a rock or something and let that heat up. But uh, but anyway, yeah. Thanks again, mom. Uh, but again, whoever had these really did a great job of storing them. Everything is in like pristine condition despite being, in quotations, expired. So I'm going to let this heater do its thing, and we'll get everything else on the tray and uh, be back in just a click of a finger. All right, so we got everything on the tray here. Our heater uh, did, a, did a pretty nice job. It's still warm, but it definitely exhausted itself fairly quickly. So salt water trick, man. It definitely definitely does, does the work. So, you know what, I'm going to start with the 
mix in my drink. I never do that. I don't think I, I ever mix the drink first. So I'm gonna do that first. All right, nice dry powder. Keep your powder dry. At least that's what I've been told. Uh, right. Um, these standard powders always suffer from the exact same problem of being relatively hard to mix. So you're gonna, you know, get <clears throat> powder on the bottom of the bottom of the glass like crazy. That's okay. So I actually stopped there for a second. I was, <laughs> there was a sound and it was like, what is that sound? It was like this whiny little sound. Now it won't do it. It was, I don't know if you can hear that or not. <laughs> I set this just flat on the table and uh, I guess it had a little bit more life in it. So it was sitting there whining. All right. Yes. You go up against a rock or something. I get it. Chill. <laughs> Let's open our crackers. All right. Nice little hiss there. Oh, yeah. Nice crackers. Smell like crackers. And a little oily, those crackers. Hmm. And they are definitely more, far more shiny than what uh, what I've had in a while. Again, they smell okay. Look at that! Another nice, complete cookie. You just you just don't see that. And that was the thing in the last one I did. The cookie, as soon as I went to break a piece off of it, <laughs> instant, instant uh, disintegration. Yeah, God, those crackers are oily. Hmm. Strange. You'll know if crackers are bad though, <clears throat> because they will stink. They will stink to high heaven. But uh, yeah, I mean these smell fine. It's just they seem to be a little bit more oily. Uh, okay, let's try the cheese spread here. Oh, look at that perfect color. Perfect color. Nah, eh, maybe slightly. Slightly darker than than a uh, normal, but that's great. That's great. So for an eight eight year old ration, that's um, it's not bad. We'll try our peanut butter, and I'm gonna put this on the on the cookie. So that's that's one of my favorite things. Just a nice little oatmeal cookie and some peanut butter. There we go. And that flows nicely. I needed it a little bit before I started the video, but <clears throat> it it didn't feel separated or anything. It's just it's a good good nod to need this stuff. Yeah, felt uh, felt nice, but it does flow really easy, so definitely soft peanut butter. All right. Let's get our Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that heater's. That heater's good. Very good heater. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Come here. Sometimes you just gotta get your teeth. Get your teeth involved. Alright, meatballs and marinara. Very familiar. Alright, there we go. Needs a little bit of a mix there. <laughs> All right. Well, everything looks to be good, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, and taste. So yeah, let's let's just. I already got my spoon dirty, so let's try a meatball. Look like some Chef Boyardee meatballs there. And that's basically what they are. Very light tomato sauce, trending slightly towards the sweet side. 
meatballs, you know, they, they just instantly pretty much disintegrate in your mouth. But it's good. It just, it does kind of remind me a little bit of childhood eating um, <clears throat> Chef Boyardee. You know, uh, the rings and uh, meatballs. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Let's try some cheese. Yeah. Cheese is good. Cracker does have a little bit of a uh, package taste to it. Not, not, nothing wrong, but just definitely you can tell. Yep. The U.S. ration, if I remember correctly, comes with tortillas. But it's been a while. Pretty sure it's tortillas, though. It's one of my favorites, but crackers, tortillas, same thing. Let's try our drink. <sighs> yep, nice orange. Um, <clears throat> getting towards that slight tang taste, but um, but not, not quite tang. This bottom cracker is a little less oily. Kind of weird. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, I, I like the orange drink. It's it's a it's a solid it's a solid drink. It's um you know just kind of a familiar taste, which is sort of the point to a lot of rations, getting you familiar tastes so that you can you know have those creature comfort feelings. way to do it. You can also crush up the crackers and put them in there as well. That's up to you. Let's try a cookie. Mm. Cookie's very good. I'm not really getting any package taste off of it. Definitely kind of <clears throat> goes to powder in your mouth though. It is dry. But that's kind of to be expected. Especially when you're adding peanut butter on top of it. But peanut butter's good. Cookie's nice. Great combination together. <clears throat> it just does it. It just it just works. So, yeah, well, <laughs> that's it, isn't it? Um, these are slightly smaller menus <clears throat> than your standard USMRE. Sometimes you might see one other thing if it were a USMRE. But I think they're a good size, kind of in the range of like a TOTM, the, the training uh, menus. And it's held up. It's definitely held up. 2012... Um, it's definitely held up these past, you know, now eight years <clears throat> and it's still good, still edible, still good, good lunch, right? So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed already, you guys are awesome. <clears throat> but if you haven't subscribed already, you're still awesome but just not quite as awesome as those who have subscribed. So I would encourage a subscription because just between you and me, it's free. And if you didn't hear my whisper, what I said is it's free to subscribe. So <laughs> just hit the subscription button. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, folks, I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of my lunch. We will catch you down the road. See ya.